today I'm gonna be behind the camera. This is inside of a rental property we acquired in December uh, in Piney Orchard. Um, you'll see videos on this property and other properties we have uh, throughout the year. Um, it's just a typical three-story townhouse and it's got, we were very fortunate we bought it. The, the previous owner had put a new roof, new siding, and new windows on the house. So all the major uh, items on this house that would be a, a concern to an investor are done. The flooring was done already. The one thing that it lacked was a, a quality kitchen. And this kitchen, I wish you could have seen it beforehand. These are the types of things I would certainly encourage you guys to invest money in. Um, when you acquire a property. For example, this kitchen, I, and I'll, I'll see if I can throw up a before picture. And this was all particle board cabinets and um, just awful color, like a, I don't even remember the color. It was like a bright colored Formica countertop that was original to the house from the 1990s. Um, and it just needed some, it needed some, something to punch it up, to give it some life. And certainly, if you do things like that, obviously it'll increase the rent. So what we did, the cabinets were actually in great shape. And what we decided to do was just to simply paint these cabinets in a white color, which is obviously very in right now. And we just wanted to give them kind of a facelift, put some new hardware on there. The granite, the sink, and the faucet, um, plus painting was probably a total investment of about $2,000, maybe a little bit more. Um, we kept the appliances that were already here. Again, just got a new sink, new faucet, did a nice tile backsplash just to kind of liven up you know, this, this kitchen area. Um, prior to doing it, we could have rented this townhome for about $2,100 a month. And now, uh, given that it is basically essentially fully renovated now with the kitchen being completed, uh, we are able to rent this now for $2,300 a month. So we're gonna get our investment back within the first year uh, of renting it. That extra $200 a month times 12, that's $2,400 that pays for uh, the renovation we just did. And we actually signed these folks to a two year lease. So we're really excited about having them in, but those are the types of things that don't cost a lot of money that you guys need to make sure if you have the ability to do it, you know, analyze it if it makes sense. If you can get your money back within a year, year and a half, it's certainly a sound investment to do.